can integrate with Microsoft Outlook to send and receive emails from our contacts. Our client, Cloudwalker Brewery Supply, is using Outlook as their primary email program. And they want to integrate ACT with Outlook so that they can create contacts and activities from their emails. They also want to record history from communications with their contacts. So to begin setting up this integration for them, we first need to tell ACT to use Outlook for emails. To do that, we'll go to the Tools menu, and then we're going to choose Preferences. When the Preferences window opens up, click the Email and Outlook Sync tab. If this is your first time set up, you'll see that there are no email systems associated with ACT yet. So we're going to click the Email System Setup button. This launches the wizard, so we'll click Next. And now in this step, we need to select the email system that we want to use with ACT. I'm going to check Microsoft Outlook. And it's good to note that this option won't be available if Outlook isn't first installed on the computer. That's why we always recommend installing Outlook before installing ACT. OK, let's click Next. Now because Outlook uses ACT databases as address books to send the messages, we have to choose one of our ACT databases to be added as an address book inside Outlook. So we'll click the Add button. And I'm going to use my Cloudwalker database. The username is there already, so all I need to do is put in my password and click OK. Now we could add multiple databases if we want, but I'm just going to use this one database today. Since there's only one database here, it's going to automatically be selected as the default. So I'll click Next. Now we need to choose the email editor that ACT is going to use, and I want it to be Microsoft Outlook, so I'll click Next. This step deals with recording history of emails that I send to ACT contacts. I have four choices here, but I want to record the email subject and the message. I'm not interested in saving my attachments. I have a few other options. If I email somebody who is not a contact in ACT, I can get a notification for that. I can also make my history records private and exclude my own record from history. I'm just going to leave all three of these unchecked though and click Next. This step refers to recording history of emails that I receive. So when I receive an email from an ACT contact, I would like to record the email subject and message. I'll click Next again. When attaching email to contacts as history records, I have to choose the type of history that will be recorded. Again, I want it to be my email subject and message that I'm recording. I don't want to make this private, and I only want to attach the from contact. Once more, I have an option here to create contacts in ACT if they are not found. I'm going to leave that unchecked right now, and I'll click Next. This step deals with activity alarms and where they should be prompted. I want all my activities to be handled in ACT. Not both places, but just ACT only. And when I accept a meeting invitation from Outlook, I want to edit and create that activity in ACT. So I'll click Next one more time, and now we're all finished setting this up. So let's click Finish, and now we can close the Preferences window. So now our email settings have been updated to match our preferences, and we will now be able to begin using our Outlook integration.